<clears throat> Hello viewers, welcome back. Let's continue with free energy research. Today I present you Ralph Graham magnetic motor, this image on my right side. It's really really uh, amazing motor, you will see it's very simple, it's mechanical, you will see why, it's very interesting, it's, it's really obvious that it could work. But input and output energy needed for this to work, I'm not sure, but the idea is really really good. So let's get to the drawings and see how it's supposed to work. Okay, so this is the Ralph Graham magnetic motor. Look at this. It looks really, really pretty. Yeah? Really pretty. And uh, the designer or the patent guy, did Ralph did a really good job in designing this housing which holds the rotor yeah? uh, and stator magnet. So let me try to describe components one by one. It's really, really simple. Yeah? It's basically Huh, very very simple uh, you'll see so you can see that we have here uh, some magnets on the rotor so these two will be our rotors and with the permanent magnets on this rotor so if I deselect this you can see there are two rotors with permanent magnets and that uh, our let's say magnets are in series uh, series yeah? every everyone is the same polarity yeah? you can see now s n s n s n in, in one direction in clockwise direction and now we have the stator yeah here the stator is the following yeah so this is the stator magnet yeah so if i select now this you can see that there is some spring yeah and there is also some rod this blue rod which is um, connected on the stator housing yeah so so if i select a stator housing you see that this uh, spring will be uh, this rod and spring will be connected to the stator housing and now uh, you will see what happens here yeah? so uh, this magnet this permanent magnet here on the stator this uh, very wide magnet as you can see it's very wide much wider than the magnets on the rotor uh, to push both of them you see it goes a little more than uh, uh, than the half more on the half of the rotor magnets and it does pretty interesting job here huh? so this magnet will be glued to this blue uh, plate yeah? or some somehow uh, fixed on this blue plate uh, which is uh, actually connected with this spring yeah? and now it's really a simple thing what will be uh, here done yeah? so of course this would not move yeah? spring will push this down always but how it solve that it goes up so for this purpose so to, to move this spring up yeah, we have here in the middle if I move now here we have this special gear yeah? we have this special gear which is on the uh, on this uh, on the housing mounted on the housing it's basically our rotor yeah? it's connected with the rotor and on the housing and if I select now the stator and this uh, magnet you will see that this gear yeah? this gear is made in this way then you see when when this will uh, move in uh, other direction yeah? then uh, then the stator magnets yeah? then the rotor magnets it will actually push the spring up so basically it's a mechanically solved problem of uh, um, moving magnets so that uh, opposing magnetic field doesn't stop the rotor so that's basically here the idea very interesting yeah so this will move in counterclockwise direction yeah so that's why you see uh, it's not connected yeah and um, and that's it and if i select also the housing now it will be more clear so uh, the yeah the limit of the spring it's uh, not even important here yeah so it's uh, how much this uh, let's say this is the height this is the height which will be this uh, this rod which is connected with this blue plate on which is the magnet will move up just on this height uh, let's say two centimeters or, uh, or whatever it is yeah depending on the size of the motor and that's basically it and now if i select also the rotor yeah and we have the full magnetic motor yeah but here i didn't select magnets so i can deselect i can select magnets and i can select stator magnets and stator housing and uh, in this uh, this in the middle and i will be more clear yeah? so you see the magnets will go in circle yeah? 
uh, and then this uh, mechanically we will remove the magnet so that opposing magnetic field doesn't stop the rotor and that's the whole idea so what else is stated in the patent and you will see when you open the, the patent document is that in this uh, in this top top uh, part of this stator housing is actually uh, uh, electrical connection like that we have here also some kind of electromagnet to push this up but i'm not sure so i studied i read the patent i'm not sure what is inside uh, here of, the, of this top uh, uh, because it's not even necessary in this case yeah just maybe to be uh, the the guideline the guide for this rod to go up and down but otherwise you will see that there is a connection to the power supply in some scenarios of this magnetic motor and that's basically it so very very good solution uh, did Ralph Graham to use uh, to mechanically move the uh, the stator magnet uh, not to block the rotor from rotating yeah? and of course uh, when you see and when, when this passes this uh, the gear, when the gear passes it lets the second uh, so that magnet pushes with the like poles like in this position like it's drawn right now yeah? so you see now in this exactly this position now it will be pushed yeah? the, the magnet on the rotor will be pushed and the stator uh, will just one second after or just one millisecond after go up yeah? uh, and then the next magnet has the opportunity to be pushed yeah, on the rotor and that's basically it so thank you for watching leave your comments in the comment section if you have any ideas or maybe why this wouldn't work so i'm really uh, interested what you will write but it's a really really interesting pattern so thank you for watching until next video bye bye